Well, good morning, guys. Um, <clears throat> we got ourselves a locomotive review um, in the form of a Class 43 HST pack. This one being the East Coast. Um, product code is R30999, and we have 43315 and 43314. So this is the newly tooled class 43 by Hornby so as always um, they've released uh, one set of mark 3 coaches in the fag packet colors and instead of releasing the fag packet HSTs these come out so um, I was eager to buy one because I want to know what the retool was like and to be honest I actually quite like the East Coast livery anyway so I'll be buying the coaches to go with these um, so this is uh, the dummy car oh no it isn't no that is the motored car sorry uh, 43314 so we'll have a close look at it um, first of all uh, typical Hornby, the finish in a couple of places isn't perfect. The HST was already an amazing model, um, so I've been eager to do this review because I can't really see that much different apart from the coupling at the back and a couple other things which we will mention. The packaging is still the same, that's not changed. I thought they might have changed it. So um, looking at the front, uh, I will just bring both in this image for that. Um, the fleet number is on the hatch on this one, and the fleet number on this one is directly under the grill. So they've paid attention to the detail. I have checked the real ones, and they are like that. So that's quite nice to see that they've gone to that effort. So looking at the paint finish it's not too bad it is fairly crisp for a Hornby model so it's not too bad um, non opening doors on the later models they haven't bothered with that so charging more money for the model but it now doesn't have opening doors the bogies haven't changed at all the wheels haven't changed at all um, they haven't enhanced the detail on the bogies I mean you go back to when these first come out they were already an amazing model so what more could you really do with it um, the window is correctly correctly applied um, it's not plastic it's printed on the inside of the window um, I've noticed on a couple of others that the paintwork between the white and the silver uh, there's one on Olivia trains it's all splodged on one side and if you look here there is a slight blow over mark at the top left hand side this is just being really picky but for £326.99p you expect it to be spot on again no difference to the underside detail as always it's been a very good model at the back here you've got do not enter which is crisply applied so here looks really good but if you look to the top right hand side of the handrail there's also an overspray mark there so it is what it is isn't it um the other thing i've noticed with the power car which has annoyed me you probably won't be able to see it can you just see to the left hand side of the driver's seat and the driver's seat there's a wire wrapped around the driver's seat and wires in the cab I'll try and I don't know if you can see they're in the cab I've checked another one and they're not so the body needs to come off and the wires need to be repositioned um, that's a minor fix because the body's got to come off anyway because um, we're going to DCC chip these anyway we've just uh, contacted roads and rails and they are doing the 21 pin um, DCC sound chips okay so looking at this side the paint works pretty good a little bit of a splodge up there at the le top left hand side They're a little bit sloppy but 
you know are they making them in a hurry the back end is perfect on this side okay so the coupler is now on a spring at the back that's the only thing they've really changed so obviously they've gone over to 21 pin um, the fans are motorized um, so we'll look at the instruction booklet now so I'll just show you move this one over here sorry I'm doing this in my van <laughs> Okay, so the the instruction manual is quite nice. Um, it's a lot. It's not paper. It's a proper. Um, uh, it's it's pro properly printed on a book. Um, so obviously lubricating, usual stuff. The screws are in the same place. No different. Be careful removing the body because it is on these wires as the class 91 makes it a right pain in the ass getting the body on and off to be honest because the wires aren't really that long as you can see here these wires at the front these are what we can see in the cab so when I take the driver car off we'll have to push them back down and there we are 21 pin okay decoder tips uh, driving tips speaker access they have got a pre-built in space speaker um, and then you've got yeah so the speaker access and then the working fans they are adjustable if your class 43 has roof fans their speed can be manually adjusted I like how it says if it's got roof fans <laughs> I'd like to think all of them have um, and then the fan will turn at 30% locomotive speed fan will switch off 10 seconds after the locomotive has been brought to a stop when the locomotive is stationary the fan will switch on every 30 seconds for a period of 10 seconds and then obviously on analog it will just run all the time and then on the last page um, just some light functions because um, obviously these have got day and night functions which is quite nice so, uh, power car's done. I think I've been quite lucky with this set with a couple of little bit of over sprays and um, the wiring, which can be fixed. Looking at the roof, as always, these models have been, you know, they've been superb anyway over the years. Um, as you can see, the roof fans have been painted silver. Whether they are silver, I don't know. Uh, so, have a look at the dummy car feels a bit heavier than a normal one sorry you're looking at my toolbox you don't need to do that do you okay let's move the power car there okay so this is um sorry there we go so this is 43315 we'll pick this one up because he's lighter so as you can see that number is in a slightly different place to the other model as per the real thing as you can see this one is quite crispy applied to be honest I think the dummy car is much much better um, I'm intrigued to know whether the dummy car has the powered fans though I'm not sure you know I'm intrigued to know you can't you can't see in there I'm pretty sure you can't it's not see-through anymore is it Don't know. yeah just but it feels heavier so um, I'm hoping it has got powered fans also I've ordered decoders for these which will be here later this week so once I've got them fitted I'll do a running video of it on test track um, show you all the lighting fun functions the sound functions and of course see if the fans work in the dummy car I hope it does it doesn't say in the manual let me just see Yeah. see look on the power car if you look at the picture this is obviously the PCB in the power car because you can see this big block section which is the chassis um, the switch is right near the decoder um, but then if you look at this one you can't see the switch it's just a generic picture isn't it we'll have to look we'll have to see I'm hoping it's in both because that will be 
really nice because it's going to have sound in both cars so it'd be nice to have the fans work in both so i think um for the money it's it's not too bad i think they're good um but i mean as a retool it's definitely not a retool it's just i don't know i think they just refined it a little bit more um, like I said, I think with the dummy car, I've been a bit luckier. The dummy car is pretty much immaculate, to be honest, with no defects. So uh, I'll be looking forward to running these with the um, Mark 3s. I'll just show you guys underneath. And as you can see, everyone has at least one of these. They must have. Um, you guys will know that there's really no difference underneath I just was excited to do this video to show people the retool because you might not necessarily want to buy this livery but you can at least have a look at the model itself and see what you guys think anyway there's my review of the East Coast Class 43 by Hornby uh, the latest release have a good Christmas everyone um, it's coming up to that time and uh, hope for some more of you soon. Thanks for tuning in.